Guys, what's up? Uh, early morning, right? Work and uh, guys, today we're going to be talking about Banner Boy, right? We are going to be talking about Banner Boy. You can see my brothers and sisters from Nigeria, they are dragging this gentleman right there. And bro, we're going to speak about it because I feel he deserves it. Come on, I feel like he deserves it. It's it's a weird situation we are in as Africans right now. And I feel these so-called celebrities, musicians, movie stars, these actors, actresses, I feel as if they, they do not they do not know themselves and also they do not know the power that they do have now. So yeah. Uh we're going to be speaking about Banner Boy. I'm here. I have to go to the other side. I'm waiting for the light to turn green and they're uh, also showing you around, right? This is one interesting place. You can see people just walking about. I like starting the vlog from here. I actually wanted to get something for breakfast, but nah, uh, I'm gonna skip it. Yep, so let's go. It's green now. Banner Boy. So, what did he do? He, he Banner Boy is being dragged not for what he did, actually. He's been dropped for doing nothing. Yeah. Yesterday was risky. And today it's better. I think Whisky sort of like had it easy. Because he chose to just sort of like play it cool. Not even pass any comment at all. But with Benna Boy, he's out here talking. And with that, you all know, he's going to agitate people. And they're going to, yeah. That's when they really do come for you. It's like they're talking about it. You can choose to let it slide and just be like, oh, I didn't see it. But when you go in there like, oh, you're trying to explain or you're trying to, yeah. That's when they really gone in for you. It's like, okay, now we know you're there. You're listening. You're hearing us. It's very cold, bro. My hands are freezing, but for some reason, my stupid self forgot to pick up some gloves so i can't feel my hand on this bike right here like my i i can't i cannot feel my fingers yeah the light is red but i'm running the red light okay yeah so let's get in on that um nigeria decides right nigeria decides 2023 next year is going to be ghana and um i think i like this quote from one of the one of my favorite artists in Ghana right there. One love the Kubolo. There's a song with Sena Dagadu where the song goes like We are the ones we are waiting for. So what are we waiting for? When it comes to change. When we were kids, it was always like, oh, somebody should yeah, somebody should change this, somebody should do that, somebody should do that. Now we are at a place and the space in time whereby we are those people. We've grown now. And we are the people to effect those changes that we've been waiting for. So now, what are we? What are we waiting for? I know probably other people I was on the sidelines that they'd be like, hey, "Why Ben though? Like he's not a politician. Why him?" To those people, I think what I would tell you is like, "Fuck you." Yes, it, I, I have no better words. It's just like, "F you, bro." I'm, I'm sorry, but I have to say it. I'm sorry, but I have to say it. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm not, I'm not going to try to find better words for it. In some way, to to actually make my point, to make my point, in some way I do understand Ben Boy being quiet about it. I do understand him being quiet about the whole election and the whole situation, right? In some way. But that is just about like 5%. 95% of me is just like, bro, you trash. You make good music. I love you as a brother. Uh, like, bro, I would wish to be you. <laughs> like, bro, success and everything. You've done good for yourself. Kudos, great, man. Great. Great personality. Like, always such a bright smile. But then, if you, because we are in a place whereby we need change. We need change. We need as Africans need change, these so-called leaders, these so-called 
These idiots, they do nothing. I've been following up with the election and there are places people are sharing up some dollars. Like, let, 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 you see how bad it is? They're not even giving money in Nigerians' own currency. The Naira is just like, they know the currency right now is trash. These politicians just be stupid though. Now, why Banner Boy? Listen, you don't need come out. He, uh, from my perspective, he, he doesn't need come out and be like, hey, go vote for Timbu, go vote for uh, OB, go for no, none of none of that, none of that bullshit though. Just be vocal about it and be like, hey guys, I casted my vote. Y'all go out there, cast your vote. Be part of us. You say you are an ordinary person, but bro, it seems it doesn't seem. It is a fact. There are levels to this ordinary person thingy. There are levels to it. We, we we are out here. Why do you think like we push y'all? You y'all like musicians, whatever. Why do you think we listen to your music? What, what, like, yes, you're giving us music, but when it comes to these social issues, you are there now. They are listening. You can fill up a whole stadium. So you have the numbers. These politicians are listening. The very moment you are putting something out there now, they, look like, they know. They know. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Okay. This person is speaking now. We better watch out. But it's so sad when we do push your, these individuals to be in those places. Now it becomes as if they are no longer part of us. They are no longer these ordinary people. They have money. They can buy the things that they want. They can go to the places that, that they want. So now it's like, he isn't part of us. And that's the bullshit. So yeah, for 5% of me, I know like, hey bro, like this is you putting yourself out there. And you're going to make very, very mighty enemies. These are not tough enemies. These are mighty enemies. Right? This is you putting yourself out there. This is you putting your career and everything on the line. But then, is it just going to be you? The rest of us should just go through this bullshit. The rest of my, the, the rest of Nigerians would have to go through this bullshit. Just because, like, the people that are in power are failing them. And the people that do give them solace, you are making music. You are giving people hope. You are giving people something to vibe to after all the bullshit these politicians are giving us. But you can actually give more. Listen, to who more is given, more is expected, says the Bible. If you say you are a common person, you should act like one. If you say you are a common person, if if now be you where they drive the keke, now if you be you where now they you should. This is the time we need you to be out here driving the keke with us. Not sit there and be like, oh, uh, to be honest, you do not know whom to vote for. Like this is this has been the whole thing that's plaguing us as Africans. One, selling our votes for money. And that one I don't even get, cause when you buy the ballot paper, these individuals that you took money from ain't there. And I swear to God, there is no way any juju is going to kill you because you didn't vote for them. Because fuck them, they're going there and they're going to be stealing money. The juju will still kill them first. Our forefathers and these spirits, they don't work that way, bro. They do not condone this bullshit, bro. They do not. So first and foremost is we selling our votes for money. And the second most, no, I think that should be first. The thing where we go like, oh, I do not do politics, so I do not know. F that's the most stupid thing ever, because people are then go, bro, listen, I'm getting angrier here. So Benna Boy, yeah, he's trash. Benna Boy, whiskey, they trash. I saw what Falls did. He came out. He gave a situational report like, hey, this is the situation at my place. I voted. This is what happened there. He's not telling you who to go for, whether he voted for OB or what, nobody knows. And I don't even care if he's like out there saying this is who he voted for. At the end of the day, the brother is out there creating awareness like, bro, let us all go out there and vote. He's an individual. He can choose to belong to a sect. He can choose to belong to war. And I know, like I had said, that doesn't negate the fact that Bernard Boy also can choose to keep quiet. But then, bro, fuck you for keeping quiet. This is the end of the video. I'm going in there. I have another vlog at the end of the day. These things just ball me up. That guy, he's trash.